We're in one of the Taylor's Port Lodges here in Porto, full of these great casks of port. The smell is absolutely wonderful. Adrian Bridges, Managing Director, uh, telling us a bit about it. And when we saw the large vats in the other room, they had things like LBV for late bottle vintage yeah. on them and so on. These don't seem to have names on them, these casks, but they do have numbers and symbols. What do they mean? Well, that's right, Jamie. So we only actually tell you what's in each of these at the beginning and the end, because you know there's a hundred different casks that make up this lot. And so when we look at the front here, we've got a, a, a particular particular number, in this case, you know, 5,691 happens to identify the vessel. So we looked that up in the computer, we'd know where that is, lodge number one, what it's aging. But these are the ones that are really quite interesting. This cross and these numbers are an old Moorish symbol. This space here indicates a pipe of port. Uh, what we used to say with a pipe of port, it's what an oxen can pull. This unit here is a unit of an almud, and an almud is the double-handled uh, jug that the ladies used to carry on their head. So you've got 550 plus four lots of 25, and then here you've got something called a canada, and a canada is a two-liter pot, which of course is what we should be drinking every day. And so you add all that up, and you get to 654 liters in this particular vessel. So that's how that's worked out. That's how it's worked out, and of course make it a little bit more simple than, uh, than the old days of pipes, almuds, and, and uh, canadas, we actually write the number, 654. And that's interesting, because so they, they have different amounts. I hadn't noticed that. So there's 612 there, there's 587 there. Is there any particular reason why? Well, they're all handmade, and so the, the size is what it is. I think what's extraordinary about a room like this is that you look down... Um, uh, a lodge which has got over one and a half thousand of these in and you have all of them different sizes and yet the front is completely straight all of these being taken down put up each year and they take immense pride to put them back so they're in an absolutely straight line interesting it's quite regimented i mean there's a lot of a lot of hard work and presumably a lot of patience that goes into making port and going through as you said emptying all of these once a year filling them back up again I and mean, it's an incredible amount of work well, indeed, and we were just looking um, earlier at a 40-year-old uh, tawny that we're not going to sell for another 30 years. That's a whole generation of somebody in the company uh, before it's even sold. Um, you know, our oldest children are, are now 20. They may well be you know, nearing retirement when that gets, gets close true. to being <laughs> sold. So, yes, it is, it is a, long and, and, uh, a long love of patience to produce these extraordinary wines. I mean, I love a glass of port, but just discovering quite how much work and time goes into it, I will certainly savour it much more <laughs> when I have the next glass. Thank you, Adrian.